Hi, this is Phil from Infinity Innovations. I'm just going to go through um, some connectivity do's and don'ts. Um, so with the actual loggers, when we're pairing them, you will find that it will look like this. So you'll have a solid green light. Uh, there'll be no other lights on the dongle. This means it's ready for pairing. So if I go into the app, uh, it should appear when I go to try and reconnect um, an inverter. There we go. So that's the inverter. Now I've purposely put in the wrong um, uh, Wi-Fi password. The reason for this, I'm going to show you what this does. So if you click add device, what it will do is try and connect this with the settings that you've put in for your Wi-Fi. Now if I, if it's taking too long and I cancel out of this, and then it goes into a search mode again, uh, the inverter no longer appears as a, a, a generic uh, search symbol. The reason for that is because you've now left the dongle in kind of like a limbo, where you can see the blue light trying to connect to the internet with the details that you've set. So it's not connecting. So what you've physically got to do now um, is go into your local settings, your inverter local settings, because that's what we were trying to um, put on the actual network. Go into inverter, this will read the data, and we have to clear what we've put in to reset the actual dongle. Okay, so that's successfully set. Now you can see it's no longer in limbo. It's not trying to connect to anything. It's gone back to factory, so it's ready for pairing. So if I go back into now the local settings, uh, sorry, the uh, connection settings to add it to the station, add device, it should now appear. There we go. Now, before I do that, I'm going to go into my Wi-Fi settings and I'm going to delete what's in there because it was the wrong details. This is where you would need to meticulously now read it word for word on your password and it is case sensitive. So if it has capitals, if it has symbols, if it has anything in there, it has to match 100%. So confirm. And then I just click add. And it should just go straight through. Um, once this is uh, paired to the network, it will come off. And then you should get a solid blue light to say it's successfully set to the network. So two things, do not cancel if it's going through and make sure before you click add that the actual password is 100% correct. So if I come out of this now, go onto my camera, you can now see it's no longer in limbo, it is fully connected onto the network. And if I go onto my devices on my homepage, I can now see said device. There we go. That is the inverter I've just connected. All right, thanks very much for watching. Speak to you again soon.